If you started to see some bubbling under the rubber grip of your DualSense Edge, I have bad news for you. It's been a while since I've seen some people posting pictures regarding DualSense Edge rubber grip peeling off and I couldn't care less when I saw some of you also mentioning this issue in the comments. So in this video I show you how it happens and the possible solutions to fix or replace the rubber grip with third party brands. My controller's rubber grip hasn't peeled off yet and that's because it depends on how much you use your controller, your room and body temperature, if your hands get sweaty and which games you play. My room temperature is typically between 16 to 24 and my hands never get warm or sweaty even if I play for long sessions like 8 to 10 hours. But that's just genetic I guess. And it's not something we can control. So if your hands get warm or sweaty, you are more likely to see this issue happens to you too. I also play 4 hours per day on average and so far after 7 months it didn't have issues yet. But I started to see these bubbles which shows it'll happen soon or late. There are multiple options you can get, like body skins or rubber grip replacements. But today I'm gonna review the replacement from Extreme Rate which gives you multiple color options and full shell or only rear and front part replacements replacements in various styles. I received this full shell replacement for review, however in this video I'm gonna install the front and rear parts, as you have issues with the back part and the grip. Keep in mind if you only need the front and rear grip replacement, there are options for that so you don't need to get a full shell replacement. That's only in case if you want a completely different look. The same for other parts, you can get left or right housing. There are various options anyways, but wait a little longer, because things get more interesting and there are some pros and cons and I want to be honest about them. Installing them only took me 20 minutes by following their guide on YouTube and doing a few tries and it was my first time doing something like that. Also be careful to not hurt yourself. But it's not that hard, it's worth the time. So you install the back part first which is a bit tricky but then the front part is so easy to do. You are not forced to use both of them, you can still use the glossy front panel from Sony if you like to. But let's talk about pros and cons. The material is high quality and is exactly like the front housing part. It's soft and made from plastic and doesn't get dirty like the back parts because it doesn't have that material. It's less likely to get as warm as the original one. And overall feels okay in my hands. Compared to the original one, the rear part is slightly taller in these parts specifically. But as I tested them, there is no issue with the back buttons and there's enough space to work fine without any issues. But speaking of cons, I have to mention something. If you remember, I've got the golden back pedals a while ago, and they are pretty much similar to the original model and worked very well so far. But today I was testing them with the new rear part, and one of them seems to have less space, and when I push it, it touches the controller body. There is no issue in terms of working and response time, but you must have known it. Maybe the one I received has this issue. So if you got them, test them, and ensure they have enough space just like the original ones, especially if you are going to use them with a grip replacement. Have a listen to this part and look at the space between them to get a better understanding. So it works fine and also doesn't have issues with the original rubber grip. But one of them has less curve which causes touching the back part in the new plastic grip. Again, it might be an issue in the unit I received. You should also consider if you replace the touchpad, there are two models, transparent and non-transparent models. The non-transparent models are not able to show the light indicator on the controller. So be careful with that one, which could be a con if you don't consider it. The front panel isn't glossy, at least the model I've got. Got. And I remember some people weren't happy about the glossy look of the front panel. You can always swap them if you don't like to use them and only need the rear grip. This part and replacement is the easiest thing to do. So if you decide to buy them, you can click the first link in the description or the comments section and choose the part you need. But before you finish the checkout, you can use the discount code DANCEDEDGE to get a 10% discount on any purchase. This will also help the channel. But before you do that, what are my final thoughts and is it worth it? The quality is very good and even though my hands don't get warm or sweaty, this material helps me to keep my hands cooler and it feels good in my hands. Even though my rubber grip isn't peeled off yet, I'd prefer to keep using the ones from Extreme Rate for now. But I'd prefer to keep the front glossy part instead of this white model. Maybe I'll get a darker model later and replace that with a black one that is not glossy. There are no issues with the original back pedals and they work without any problems. Overall, I like 
like them and I look for other colors to give a new look to my controller. Let me know if you decide to get them and don't forget the discount code. But if you notice, I've got the thumb caps replacement and because of multiple reasons, I prefer these thumb caps to the original ones. I no longer use the original caps. To find out why and how did they improve my accuracy in the game, you can check my other review from the video cards or the end screen or the links in the comment section. These are a huge improvement. Catch you in the next video.